Hey everybody, I'm Jordan Lima from Lemur Studios, and this is Lemur Studios Presents. We're talking about arts and culture, charitable giving, and healthy living. I'm here with Jeff Bagel, who has a book called Annual Fundraising Plans Made Simple. This can help charities to raise funds and be sustainable. So Jeff, tell us a little bit about yourself and about the book. Jordan, thanks for having me here today. Lifelong Buffalonian. Today I'm principal of eAdvancement Consulting. So what we're able to do, there's eight of us around the country, and we go out and we help not-for-profits maximize their philanthropic opportunities, and we were all nationally recognized practitioners before we became consultants. So we know when we go into a client, we know what it's like in their shoes. Awesome. We've been there. The book is something that I published in 2016 through Case Publishing, and it is Case's highest selling book to date. Awesome. It, it, last year it was, it was its top seller. That shows that there's a need. Fundraisers know how to do their job. This book does not teach them how to fundraise. It teaches them to take the information that they have up here and put it on paper. What would you say is a uh, common mistake people make when they're doing their, or not doing their fundraising <laughs> plan? Put yourself in the donor shoes. It's not just about what the organization wants or needs, it's satisfying what the donors wants and needs are as well. Studies show the latest numbers out is that a first-time donor to an organization only has a 17% chance of making that second gift. Fundraising is a relationship-based business. So what you want to do with that first-time donor is treat that donor extra special. If a first-time donor makes a second gift within the first year, they're that much more likely to keep on giving for a lot longer. And that's what you want is the lifetime value of a donor. That's great advice. Now. Uh, I'm a video producer, so I always wonder, uh, what would you say about video and fundraising? How is it helpful? You should be a fundraiser's best friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here's why. Fundraising is storytelling. What better way is there to tell a story than through video? You know, I can't think of one. <laughs> so you should be a fundraiser's best friend because you can help tell their story. You can help make that connection. You can help build that relationship. Think about the power of video. Let's use a school as an example. When you see a room that has a name on it, video, take it back, send it to the donor and say, I was just walking by this room today, thought of you, saw the room that has your name on it, wanted to show you in real time the benefit that your gift made. If I was to give some advice to someone making a video for fundraising, I would say to uh, engage early so that you don't have to rush to get it done at the end and you have uh, a wide spectrum of what you've done throughout the year because one of the problems we run into is oftentimes people want to make a video and there's maybe a month left. So you're really limited to what's happening in that month. That's why they need their annual fundraising plan. Well, perfect. Because perfect. it would be spelled out for the year. When you have your annual fundraising plan, you'll allow enough time to get the best videographer and the other services that you need so that you can have the best product at the end. This is fantastic, Jeff. Thank you so very much yeah. for being here today. If you need to raise some money, I would recommend you check out this book and give Jeff a call because he can help you out. If you need to make a video, you could call me. So we're gonna put uh, links to the book in the description here. We have some more materials about Jeff and uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Hope you have a good day. Hi, it's Jeff Bagel. Check out my book, Annual Fundraising Plans Made Simple, a top-selling book at Case Publishing. Get it today, case.org.